Welcome back everyone. In the past few videos, we learned how to load page data. We used a combination of a universal load function and a server load function to render a title and a list of products. In this video, let's learn how to load data for an individual product based on the route parameter. If you remember, JSON server allows us to query a single product by ID. Localhost port 4000 slash products is a list of products. And if you append slash product ID, for example, slash one, JSON server returns the individual product details. Our goal is to display this data in the UI. We're going to begin by creating a dynamic route to handle different product IDs. We've already seen how to do that in the routing section. First, within the products folder, create a new folder. The folder name is within square brackets, product ID. Within this folder, create a new plus page dot svelte file. For the HTML, an h1 tag that says product details. If you now head to the browser and navigate to port 5173, slash products slash one, we see the details page. Now let's go back to VS Code and focus on loading the data that will be consumed by this details page. We have recently learned that loading data requires a universal or a server load function. You can choose either, but I am going to choose server load function for this video. As a sibling to plus page dot svelte, Within the product ID folder, create plus page.server.js file. To save us some time, let's copy paste the load function from the products folder, which loads a list of products. Copy and paste it. I'll remove the log statement as that is not needed. What we do need though is the product ID route parameter. Now, how do we get hold of that? As it turns out, the server load event argument contains a params object which we can destructure. From this, we can further destructure the product ID. Now that we have the product ID, we can append it to the fetch URL. So change quotes to backticks, and the URL is slash products slash dollar curly braces product ID. This will fetch the corresponding product details. Let's change products to just product. And finally, title to product details. We are now loading the title and product information for the page. Let's make use of it in the HTML. I'll remove the h1 tag and start fresh. First, in the script section, we get hold of the data. Remember, data prop here refers to the object returned from the load function. From data, we access title and product. We bind the title to an h1 tag. And for the product, a div tag with an h2 bind product title along with its price. In the next line, a paragraph tag and bind the description. If you now save the file and head to the browser, we can see the product data is loaded and rendered in the UI. Product ID is one. We see product one, title, price, and description. This is how you can make use of URL data to load page data. Apart from params, there are two more URL related inputs that can potentially help you get the necessary data in the load function. That would be URL, 
and route. Let me log all three to the console to help you understand what they contain. Params, URL, and route, unlike params and URL, contains an ID property, which is what we want to take a look at. Save the file, refresh the page, and take a look at the terminal. Params pretty much contains our route parameter. URL contains all the necessary key value pairs like origin, protocol, host name, path name, etc. And finally, route.id contains the name of the current route directory. With these three inputs, you can use URL data in your load function. I want to quickly make note of these inputs in a slide so that we can use it as a reference when we progress through this section. Please also note, these three properties are available to both universal and server load functions. We also have the fetch function here, which we learned about a few videos earlier. So to summarize what we have done in this video, we created a product ID dynamic route, defined a server load function for that page, caught hold of the route parameter using params, made an API call to JSON server, returned page title as well as product details, and finally displayed it in the UI. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.